or Rabba, the army, have put eight people as part of the people that are wanted. We will remember on the earlier this month about um, 17 of the army were being slain where we saw the burial that took place yesterday. So we will discuss that and also try to look at what is happening between NLC and Labour Party as well. I'm Sarah Elisha Dasho. Remember, you can follow us via Facebook and YouTube. Drop your comment and your contribution. I'll be doing the program alongside Rachel Tan. Afternoon, Afternoon Sally. All right. Thank you so much, Richard. Now, let's take a look at what happened. I mean, yesterday, we are aware that um, our 17 soldiers mm -hmm. were being slain and that uh, the president was there to give his last respect to the fallen heroes and also promising um, the families that they left behind scholarship for the children, houses for them, and then mm -hmm. he has also given the army 90 days to come up with whatever benefit that these police soldiers have to be given to um, to their families. Now, just today, the army on their ex, they actually displayed the pictures of the eight wanted people that were actually mm -hmm. um, associated with the killing of the 17 army men that died in Okwama community mm -hmm. over there in Delta State. And then here they are listing that um, anybody that has valid information concerning them and, uh, you know, going through um, their handle that's talking about X, a number of people had different things to say. Some people have the opinion, okay, these are the eight people that I'm here looking for. Why were innocent people paying for these eight people? Mm -hmm. And then it was surprised, it's surprising that about eight men, uh, eight men, or seven men rather, and a lady mm -hmm. is, and then you just can't help to wonder, I mean, how did they come up? I mean, we have a prof, part of the people that are there, yeah. one of the prof there, Professor Otto, and then we have other people as well with different personalities and all of that. And, and not, people have a lot to say concerning this picture, and then we're still waiting for more details coming from the defense headquarters because a number of people have a lot to say concerning this. Already we were, uh, we were of, of the opinion, I mean, the army were not supposed to be found doing such thing. We were talking about land dispute between two families. This was the responsibility of the police. And even talking about the wanted people, people have to say it's still not the responsibility of the army and then all of that. But then, I mean, what can we say? The army are doing what they can do. We know that the president said those who are behind definitely will be brought to book and the families are also asking for justice for those who killed their husbands, their brothers, and then we know that, I mean, we have about three widows that are pregnant among them, so it's really a sad one at a time like this, but then um, what can we say? We just hope that um, the people, just like we say, we are not in support of the people who do that, but I just hope we have jurisdiction on certain things so that we'll avoid um, a repetition of such scenario again coming up and then making the entire nation to lose sleep. Why? Because we did not do what we were supposed to do at a time like this. I mean, Sela, we can't judge books by their cover. I wanted to say these suspects look like everyday people, but of course you can't judge a book by its cover. But, but this is my concern, Sela. Mm. And okay, it first started as a communal clash, right? So if we're going to go with the first story that is a communal clash, then I want to believe that when there is a communal clash, there is a leader in every community. Mm. We can start from there if it's a communal clash, right? And say, okay, the leader of this community and that community, you need to fish out the people that did this and all of that. And of course, if it was a communal clash, there have to be someone leading the clash. People don't just randomly lead. When it comes to clashes, it's organized. No matter how scattered it might look like, there's, uh, there are frontiers when it comes mm. to certain things. Mm. Fine, it's not a communal class. It's a land dispute between two families. So how I'm, I, I, I was looking forward to seeing names of family members. I, that's what I'm looking forward to, not just random people. I should have seen two family members there, either one from the others are over. So there should be like at least three to four people with the same name, two to three mm, people maybe with the Mr. same name. Maybe Mrs. and Mrs. or brothers or something exactly, of that nature. Exactly, Sele. Because if it is a land dispute, it's not everybody that owns the land. 
there has to be people who own the land and these are usually relatives and people and as the story started in unfolding mm. we knew that it was a family as based on how the story started it wasn't a communal tribe we've moved past that and it's a land dispute so who owns the land dispute or are we trying to say that someone killed for the land owners on their behalf or what mm. how did we come up with this suspect because i still don't understand this story why will soldiers be involved even if it's a communal clash well, we've cancelled that it's not a communal cash, mm. and now it's a land dispute but between two families. Why are soldiers involved with that? And now why are we seeing the suspect not being family members? Or obviously the people who own the land or whoever, because did they employ other people to come and kill on their behalf? And if so, these people don't look like mercenaries. They don't. So mm. where, what is the standard and the procedure to go on and say, okay, these are the people. And this might not make it on the papers, but we're all on social media. We all have feet and see what the soldiers have been doing. They might, re, re, um, um, re, um, they might deny reprisal at that, but we know that that community has been under siege. People have been hiding for, for, for weeks in the bushes, no food, going through. We saw where the soldiers mm. were burning houses. Why were they burning those houses in the first place? That is reprisal. In, in whatsoever way you burn people's houses in that community, that is reprisal. We saw all those kind of acts coming from our soldiers. And now here are people that are not related as the suspect and you can't help but wonder what well, were the modalities and the information because I want to see family members as the suspect. If you went to um, um, solve a land dispute, then I believe that these are people that are related owning this land one way or the other and they should be the suspect. Who called you in the first place? Who, we, whose side were you on if it's a land dispute? How are you trying to solve it? How did these things uncover? We don't have those details from the army. We don't have that story. Who called the army? Nobody, that information is not out there up till now. Who called them? Mm. Who gave them the call to come? Nobody. They, if we don't have that kind of information out there, how can we trust this other information coming out when nothing so far about this story seems to be right? That the, the, is not checking out. There's a lot of um, discrepancies, loopholes, when, loopholes, and all of that. So, I, I, I'm just hoping that on the other hand that the army are trying to you know what give people hope on the other hand i believe that this is one case that is tarnishing the image of the military it, it shows their lack of credibility on a lot of level it shows incompetency on a lot of level this is sad on a lot of level while on the other hand there are activities going on that we can give kudos and thumbs up to the nigerian military mm. this story i believe on the other side is doing the opposite to our Nigerian military and I just can't wait for it and I can't just wait for this story to be over and out of the way and then we face issues mm. of the day and the real mm. problems that are facing our society. You know Rachel if you present this um, situation to somebody out there mm. I mean everybody have their different school of thought concerning mm. this just like you say something is not adding up mm. because it seems as if the main the bone of contention here, we're not really hitting it properly because something must have triggered to the point where we have the soldiers being slain. Mm -hmm. It would have been okay if it was just a fight yeah. because the army have their arms so they could protect mm -hmm. yourself. But the point that at first it was 12 soldiers were told and then finally we got to that, oh, they are no longer 12. Mm -hmm. We are talking about 17. Yes. We have a major, we have a captain and mm -hmm. all of that being involved in all of this. And these are top ranking yeah. um, army men. So for us to say that these men were being, not only were they slain, some of them were mutilated as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a shameful one in a lot of level that our army men were being um, presented in that manner. I could, I, I could imagine, I mean, their loved ones were unable to even cite their corpse yeah. because it's not something mm -hmm. you can actually look at. Not to talk about the trauma their kids will go to present knowing the fact that you know what, it would have been a different thing if you were told that we're trying to protect mm -hmm. people at Zafara. Yeah. Your father went through, you know, back and forth before yes. he died. You could beat your chest and say, you know what, my dad died an honorable death. Mm -hmm. But that did to some level to some people. It was not really honorable because it wasn't, um, a number of people can say it wasn't really just. 
But just like the ceramics, so then it's not adding up who actually gave the order for this anime to go there. Exactly. We, let's have a need. Who gave the directive? I'm happy the president is saying let innocent people in Delta, Okuama community mm -hmm. should not pay for the people who are out there. But I'm happy. It's not as much as the army. For them to have come up with this picture, and they must have done a thorough yes. digging mm -hmm. and they have realized yeah. that these eight persons are actually associated with the killing. And we are looking forward to mm -hmm. more details because details yeah. are still unfolding. Just like you said, we can't wait to get done with this story. And this is just exposing or bringing to the light that a number of army men have died for reasons that are not just. Mm -hmm. Let's not True. talk about those that have been missing that we can't really tell whether they are dead or alive. Yeah. Their loved ones have not heard from them for a number of years right now. So I'm hoping that just like we said, let us have, let everybody know what is responsibility are. As an army, where are you supposed? What is your work? Except for issues, if not for terrorism, I mean, we hardly see uh, army men everywhere. But then we really have to send our respect to these um, 17 men, and we hope mm -hmm. that um, their loved ones will be able to bear the loss and then everything work out well so that justice will be served eventually. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for, 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 for some weeks now, we've been talking about the issue of the NLC and the LC, LP rather, Labour Party and the Nigerian um, Labour Congress. And we know that um, they tend to share something in common because the NLC claim, or no rather claim, the Labour Party belongs mm. to them. So they get to um, either contribute what is happening or be against it or be for it, however it is. Now we see, um, ever since we had the issue of the allegation on the chairman who has been re-elected again mm -hmm. as the chairman during the convention they had it yesterday and they have also presented Peter Obi as a 2027 mm -hmm. presidential candidate and again they are also giving an OT, governor, OT mm -hmm. of Abia State governorship again for 2027 and they are also saying that um, going down to the world levels and national level they should take the same stand of the structure the way they are taking at the national convention. Now, we, 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 we knew when um, NLC went over there, locked the office of the Labour Party, saying that Abure need to resign mm -hmm. as a chairman. Mm -hmm. And we know that, I mean, even when the allegations came up, we had uh, where Peter will be said, you know what, you need to step down. Let all need to be done. Be mm -hmm. done first before you can come back. But then we saw they had an election yesterday, and um, the National Labour Congress is saying that, I mean, during the convention, it is not a valid meeting in fact that convention was illegal in a lot of level people who were in attendance were very scanty and all of that therefore they are saying the fact that they cannot accept Aburi as a returning chairman any longer so now it seems as if i mean well nigerians are hoping you know what labor just um, nigerian labor congress please can you just tell us what our minimum wage will be Wait please <laughs> i mean yesterday and today is supposed to be the meeting yes. of the committee but then of course i cannot say they should totally distance themselves because this is a party that is close to their house so mm. therefore just like you and i have said earlier where we, this whole issue started yeah. the fact that the image of the Labour Party or the image rather of the Nigerian Labour Congress is very important because yeah. we do not want to see them as a political body because yeah. they stand for everybody eventually regardless of your party. Mm -hmm. Labour is supposed to speak on behalf of the entire masses, especially the civil servant. Mm -hmm. But then seeing here that they are rejecting Aburi as the chairman and we're also having their uh, a papa sec also saying, you know what, this cannot be the chairman for the Labour Party. You just can't help but wonder what really is going on here. Can we just have something can you just come to an end all this your fight your back and forth can you just call it quits and let us just have movement going on of course and it's not only labor party that is working towards the 2027 but then the fact that the nigerian labor congress is actually associating itself it's what makes it worthy to be discussed and also to talk about it and how they can come to an understanding eventually in all of this i think it's about time labor party put their acts together because um, it doesn't make sense on mm -hmm. a lot of level. These are the kind of problems that if you don't solve, it will follow you to 2027, and then it will hamper everything you're trying to do. And this is basically what INE calls no structure. This is what INE calls no structure. And this is what your opposition party will feed on. Mm. Or if you don't put your act together. There was a convention. And if the Papa section do not want Abure, did they attend and vote him out? These are the kinds of things I'm, I, I keep saying. You were supposed to go 
either way, whether you are happy of the convention about the convention or not, you go and vote this person out and vote in the person. We know that when it comes to election, it's number. As long as it's tagged a Labour Party convention and you are all meant to attend, mm. attend in your full numbers and then vote a break out and then vote in the person you want. But when you sit back and keep saying we do not agree, well, the few voices will vote on your behalf and it will stand because regardless, an election has taken place and then there is an outcome and a person has won and it remains a bureau and all of that. And the same way also for the, uh, for, for, for the NLC, if you don't want him, if you are a part of those who elect who will be the chairman of the Labour Party, did you attend the convention and did you vote for who you want? It's two different things. If on getting to the grounds, mm. you were not given access. Because if I can remember in the past, what was being said was um, that they are going on with the, with the convention, whether they agree or not. But there was no place stated that they were not allowed to come. They are all, the, uh, they are all part of the um, of Labour Party, be whatever section you are. You are expected to go in there even if you are not happy mm. about the date. It's like they fixed a general election, and because Plateau State is not happy about the day, we refuse to go out and vote for the presidential election. Well, if you refuse to vote for the go out to vote for the presidential election, Cardona will go and vote, Lagos will go and vote, Oshun will go and vote, Zampara will go and vote. Whether you vote or not, in the end, a president will come out. And even if you sit down and say you don't accept the president that has been elected by other states, it doesn't change anything because an election has taken place. And that is what I was expecting from all the people that are refusing to accept what is happening. It is a convention. You go out there and vote. If you sit back, those people, they are still a representative of you, regardless of how few mm. they are. Whether you like it or not, they still represent you. And those few voices have spoken over your much larger number. If you claim you are a majority, then you should have gone and showed that you are a majority by voting at the person whom you think is the problem of your party and then putting in a new chairman and then trying to make headway because these problems will haunt you in the future and until you time flies we're already in 2024 so like before you know it's a matter of time and it's 2027 so these are the kinds of things i expect from them do the needful put your act together it's not a permanent position so you could have been in the position to vote whoever you feel is not appropriate for that position and voting rather than all the side talk it still doesn't change the outcome of what the convention was in the end so for for nlc just i mean seller we are waiting to see what the the minimum wage is and um in the midst of all of this distraction supposed to be yesterday or today and i hope that at the end of today mm. we will have an outcome of this tripartite committee concerning what will be and i just hope that labor is not too distract uh, nlc of course it's too distracted that instead of us getting this outcome by the end of today they are busy saying that abura is not supposed to be the chairman that is so let's be honest if is an insignificant fragment of the problem of nigeria as it is now because let's do the number we're talking about labor party you are just another political party amongst other parties in the country. You might have made a big name mm. in the 2023 election because of your political candidate and how he won the heart of Nigerians. But now we have moved past that and we are here now. And the bigger issue, the bigger issue is the economic hardship in the country. Mm -hmm. And whether we like it or not, it's a higher priority than who is the Labour Party chairman at the moment now, with due respect. So can we face that now and have mm -hmm. our minimum wage? If you like, don't fix your party problem. If you get issues in 2027, it's still on you. But as for now, we cannot wait for you. We need our minimum wage now. We need you talking to the government about your memorandum of understanding. We need to see the CNG buses going out in schools. We need to see pilots moving out because we are yet to see pilots and all of that. Face the order of the day. 
hardship of the economy is much bigger at the moment now mm. than your party issues. So just do the needful by now. You know, Richa, you've just hit the point on the head. We have a more bigger matter issue on our hand mm. compared to the political issue, just like you said. So let us see, you know, the Nigerian Labour Congress focusing on the right thing. I mean, let's not forget that Nasu and San will just call off their tribe on Monday. So yes. that does not mean they are not planning a mm, bigger. Of course because not. you never can know what they are cooking presently, the yeah. fact that they are quiet. We know the way these unions do behave. They will just take you by surprise and then realize that you'll be going on true blue strike. And whether we like it or not, it's going to affect even the movement of education and all of that. So just like we say, we just hope they will get their act together. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, do, do the Nigerian Labour Congress have a point? Of course. Have Abure been clear of whatever education it is of concerning that money? Not. If that is the issue, we, we said it, you could just call, do a closed door meeting. Mm -hmm. Nigerians don't need to know what is happening yeah. about that. Fix your act together and then before you come up with whoever you believe should be the chairman of the party. So I think at this moment, we'll just keep our fingers crossed, yeah. hoping and trusting that they know the right thing to do and that they'll do it eventually because mm -hmm. nobody is going to tell them how to fix their problems internally. Well, thank you so much Rachel, for doing this with me. And also thank you to our viewers. Thank you to our supporters for keeping a date with us on Nigerian. Now we look forward to meeting you again to have a great day ahead.